Mas X. Let me get cozy. Let me get cozy, and then we can start. Chufato Petra, aka my blesser. Welcome to Chero's Tea Talk Thursday, your favorite channel where we share positivity, where we share everything is possible. Bonarero Morao, Kimoru Zwangteng, Pili Kimoru Yang. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get notifications each time I post. So, without any further ado, let's get into the today, guys. We're gonna talk about dealing with rejection honestly um i don't think Hore, i am that person who can like deal with rejection to be honest um i don't even think i'll get used to it because i just i, I don't i don't know how to act when like i'm in that situation of rejection like i don't as much as like rejection it's a very hard thing to go through um, and as much as I say um, I cannot like deal with it but somehow I have to somehow I have to because I believe Hore, I'm still gonna be rejected by a lot of things um, because life is just like that and I have so Hore, the way I deal with rejection it actually scares me like I don't wanna come here and say um i know how to deal with rejection i just do that and that and that and that and then i'll be okay and move on honestly it doesn't work like that i struggle a lot from that i i don't know what to do with myself when rejection hits you understand so yeah man i have learned a lot from rejection so guys i'm um, today i'm gonna share with you um two scenarios where i felt what i was rejected and I, I didn't know how to deal with it but I'm still standing and I'm still alive <laughs> I have never like experienced like rejection from someone I just imagine how that feels like if um, what happened to me I felt like rejection I just wonder how it feels like to be rejected by a parent a partner a friend Whew! I, I just feel it's a lot you understand and rejection can actually cause depression you understand you just feel unwanted you just like i don't know it's not a nice feeling um to feel rejected it's not so the first time i experienced um rejection i think i was i was doing my metric yeah my metric yeah so um I had to apply for a bursary because I needed some funds to go to university, right? Um, it's your final year and you're just like looking forward to go to university, right? But for me, I wasn't really excited about the year because I was just stressed, Hore, um, where am I going to get funds to go to that university, you understand? So okay, cool, uh, my, my mother came with some applications. Um, some bursary applications i don't even know where she got them from but i remember we were just like filling up um the forms and i was just excited about the process and yeah so i don't remember how long it took for them to answer me but finally they did um i was just excited man food makes this makes us say yeah and then they will put the paper there fancy when you come back <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about but yeah um <laughs> when i saw her <clears throat> the the person came i don't want to mention the name yeah i don't want to mention the name so I saw the envelope and I was quite excited for okay, I got a response, you understand? So, okay, cool. I was so excited to the point where I wouldn't like wait for my parents. So I just decided to open the envelope and read 
um, the letter. And when I read the letter, I don't quite remember what was written in the in the letter, but I just remember the letter just saying it has been rejected. <sighs> I didn't know how to deal with the situation. To be honest, I didn't know. Um, I was just like crying. I just didn't know what to do. I was just stressed out. And you know what? I told myself I will never apply for a bursary because I was afraid to be rejected again. I said to myself, I don't want to go through this again. You know what? Stuff bursaries. <laughs> and my second um, rejection was on... Um, when was the... When? It was actually last year. Yeah... It was actually last year I applied for an internship and um, I was called for an interview. I went there, I did my thing, I passed the interview. So before I even left the um, interview room, I told them, Hore, um, I'm a student and I'll be like finishing my exams within two weeks so can they like at least give me time to just finish um, those papers and then i'll start working you understand they actually said to me okay it's fine um you can actually finish um your exams and then you'll just um, basically start the next month so at that time my friend moved out and we were sharing rent right and everything so when she moved out i was quite stressed uh, about paying rent and everything but I was in that stress because I knew her. You know what? Next month I'm studying uh, my internship. I'll be able to afford my rent, pay for food, um, and everything that I needed. Not that my parents um, couldn't help me with the rent or anything, but I just wanted to give my parents a break from that. You understand? So, Moksele in one week for me to actually um, go and start the internship, right? And that week I got a call and they told me, Hore, um, don't come. And we have decided uh, with Unyezi, just finish with your school and whatnot. And I was like, I am finished. Like, I'm actually waiting for next week to start. How can you say? They were like, ah, no, it's fine. Um, don't come. I don't even remember Uwotiba telling you, but I just remember them saying to me, Hore, don't go. That was my second rejection. I think that was the worst one. <laughs> that was the worst one. I remember when I finished um, talking to that lady, I just fell on my knees and I cried my lungs out. I just cried my lungs out. I just cried the whole day. But guys, honestly, I don't know how to deal with rejection. You understand? That's why I say like, um, I have been rejected by just the umsebenz. One more of someone who has been rejected by their parents or their partner or anyone. You understand? So I didn't know how to deal with that. I feel like I cannot like ask why I have been rejected. If maybe your parents has like rejected you or your father has rejected you, like you can try and ask why, but. I feel like if someone has rejected you, like, you don't have control over that, you understand? If, like, they didn't give you that job offer, there's nothing you can do about it. I think the best way to deal with rejection is just to accept it and be in the moment. If you want to cry, cry, you understand? If you want to shout, shout. But get up at the same time you understand so i was i was i was there i felt rejection nothing made um sense there so i just remember um that day i called my parents and i told them what happened and they tried to affirm me um to say everything will be okay don't worry about rent um we'll make a plan just don't worry and they were like um you'll get another opportunity you understand and at that time, I didn't care about another opportunity. I was like, I have lost an opportunity. So don't tell me about other opportunities. At that time, there was no motivation that could have helped because I was going through it. <laughs> and guys, to be frank, I, I once worked in that panel beat, right? And I didn't like it. Like, I didn't like it. Um, I, I, I enjoy... Um, working with engines 
like wheels with suspensions so i was not like interested in like scrubbing imoto apparently or oh, understand i didn't like the painting i just didn't like a panel paint at all so at the same time i was like fatu but you didn't like the job oh, understand but i didn't care at that point because i was just focused on um I needed this money because I wanted to pay rent, I wanted to buy food, I wanted to do this and that. And yeah, I was just focusing on the money, you understand? And I I even forgot her, I don't even like that place so much. To that point that I acted the way I did. So what happened is I got another offer, um, which I'm doing right now. I got a internship to go to China. And guys, to be honest, I was I didn't wanna apply because I was scared. I was scared of rejection. And that's the thing, Hori. Rejection brings um, fear for you to start again or try again because you just fear to fail, you understand? So I told myself, Hori, no, what? I won't fear, you understand? If I am rejected, it, it is fine. So I got um, my intention to come here in China. So imagine I was just like crying um to work at a panel beat when god prepared me to go to china you understand um sometimes rejection is just a sign of god telling us Hori, you know what my daughter you know what my son i have better things for you even if when you are rejected by someone um the truth is you are not responsible of people's action you cannot control how people um, act you understand that you cannot force people to love you you cannot force someone to be there if that person don't want to be there they don't want to be there one thing you can do is just accept accept it don't deny it accept it and also focus on people who loves you, you understand focus on the positive thing i know it's hard it's not easy to just like accept and move on maybe like don't want to make it light you understand i know but at the end of the day this is life and we are not responsible for people's action if i wanna cry i'll cry probably i'll cry the whole month it is fine but one thing that matters is you get up and you move on if you are someone who has been rejected um from getting that job it is fine accept it cry if you have to moan that job if you have to but don't forget to get up and move on. You understand? That's how we can deal with rejection. The thing is, guys, the world doesn't care. If it wants to reject you, it will. And you don't have control over that. You understand? Um, be it your partner, your friend, um, your parents, or you didn't get that job offer, or you didn't get that um, acceptance letter from university, or that bursary. But anyway, <laughs> take rejection as there's something better for you, you, understand? And the other thing, don't make rejection make you feel like you're not good enough, you understand? Because someone rejected you doesn't define you, so don't let rejection define you. You are good enough and you matter no matter what, no matter what. So get up, girl, and let's do this life thing. So guys, um, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my first episode and I hope you join me every Thursday. I'll be doing this too. So if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. I'll actually wait for you. Let me take a sip as you subscribe. Subscribe. Are you done? Thank you so much. Don't forget guys to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next week Thursday. I love you guys. Bye.